He was there the day Saddam Hussein was captured, and that was just one of thousands of capture or kill missions in his career. Sometimes he'd capture or kill several people in a single night. This man lives right here in St. Louis and is opening up about 20 years in the most secretive and elite unit in the U.S. military. I was young. I wasn't in charge of anything. I mean, I ran around and shot people and broke stuff. I mean, that was my job and I was good at it. Many of his Army Delta Force missions we'll never know about, but two big ones are infamous. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. He was one of two groups sent out to capture Saddam Hussein, and they did. Retired Command Sergeant Major Tom Satterley came face to face with him moments after. What did you think in that moment? I actually said he looks like dirty Uncle Fester. I think is what I said. I go, this is the president of Iraq. I go, he looks like my dirty Uncle Fester or something, and which caused him to spit on me. And uh, so I just turned and left the room. He's also a Black Hawk Down legend in the Battle of Mogadishu in Somalia in 1993. It was made into a blockbuster movie detailing the 18 hour long firefight where Americans were trapped. Choppers went down, 18 men died. Some of their bodies dragged through the streets. I think that when you, you lose all hope for your life that uh, nothing else really matters and nothing else mattered to me that night. It was, it was like, well, I have a short time left. Let's take as many as I can with me and save as many of my brothers as possible. Tom made it out alive and went back to work still going on thousands of capture or kill missions. Years later, he decided on his final kill. When I almost took my own life, it was because I felt like I was a burden. And as a warrior, what we do is we fix problems. If we can't fix them, we remove them. He did not take his own life that day, but PTSD was raging inside of him. Drinking, prescription pills, failed marriages, an anger-shame cycle that was broken when he met his current wife, Jen. She helped Tom get help. And now together they help others with the foundation they started. The All Secure Foundation counsels special ops veterans and their spouses, and it's based right here in St. Louis. They want a better relationship, and they keep screwing it up, and they know it, and so they remove themselves. 89% of suicides happen. They're on alcohol or drugs and a family issue. The foundation is why Tom is sharing his stories, writing it all down in a brand new book, All Secure and he admits it was all his wife's idea. She's like, you need to write a book. That is marketing. That is a story out there anyway. People will be drawn to it, and then we'll drive people to the foundation in the book, because that's really what the book's about. A book about the most extraordinary war stories, but also about the war veterans are losing at home against addiction, depression, and suicide, and this warrior that hopes to help them heal. Tom is based in Sunset Hills. He grew up in a small town in Indiana. I read his book. It, it really reads like a novel, not a memoir. It is fascinating and jaw-dropping. As far as the All Secure Foundation, you can find more information about that on KSDK.com under the As Seen on TV section. And we thank Tom for his service.